Zinedine Zidane is set to make a shock return as manager of Real Madrid and he could replace Santiago Solari as early as tonight. Well, Jamie Easton joins us now. Well, we expected Solari to be sacked, but how much of a surprise is the Zidane news? It's huge. This is a huge surprise, Kate, because nobody was expecting this to happen this season. We have to remember that Zidane decided to quit from Real Madrid last summer. According to him, he knew that one project was finished, he knew that a renovation was needed, and he didn't want to be the man in order to do that renovation. Well, things have changed. Florentino Perez has definitely convinced him and he has done hard work and he's achieved that because according to Giuseppe Pedrerol, who is the director and presenter of the show called Jugones in La Sexta, he's the same journalist that said first that Cristiano Ronaldo would leave to Juventus. He has said one hour ago that the decision has been made and Zinedine Zidane will become the new coach at Real Madrid. There's a board meeting. It will will start in less than two hours in the Spanish capital and once that board meeting finishes and Florentino Perez talks with all his members, they will release an official statement saying that Zinedine Zidane will be again Real Madrid's manager. I mean many people, Jamie, associating Jose Mourinho with the return to Real Madrid, but was Zinedine Zidane the only choice if he would consent to come back? Yeah, there, there, there were two choices. There were Zinedine Zidane, it was the first choice. Jose Mourinho was the second choice. Everybody wanted Zinedine Zidane. The problem with Zidane was that he was saying just a few days ago that he didn't want to take the job. He didn't see himself in this position, in the worst position ever for Real Madrid or in the worst position in the last years, that's for sure. So there was only one option left, Jose Mourinho. What was the problem with the Portuguese? We've been explaining this throughout the last days, that there was a huge division inside the club, inside the dressing room. We have to remember how bad he ended his relationship with players, for example, like Sergio Ramos, and there was a division as well inside the club because they perfectly remember how Jose finished his last year at Real Madrid. So, in the end, Florentino Perez has decided to convince whatever it takes Zinedine Zidane, and what they say in the Spanish capital right now is that a decision like that obviously is not only for the rest of this season, it has to continue for more years, and they assure as well that Florentino will give full powers to Zidane in order to choose the players he wants to leave and choose the players he wants to sign. The renovation will have name and surname starting by Zinedine Zidane. Wow, and of course that renovation is something that has been believed to be necessary at Real Madrid for a long time. What kind of assurances do you think Florentino Perez must have given Zinedine Zidane on that front? Well, that's an interesting question. That's what everybody's asking themselves here in Spain. But what's for sure is that Florentino Perez has told Zinedine Zidane, we trust you, you are the perfect man, you have won three Champions League in a row for us, and now you have full powers. Just tell me, who do you want? and who do you want to leave the team? There are a lot of names that are pointing out on the papers right now in Spain too, but the most important thing as well was to see how some players have passed from being idols for being villains. A lot of the Madridistas want them to leave. For example, Isco Alarcón. Just a few weeks ago, when I was there in the Clásico of the Copa del Rey, Isco Alarcón was just when enter the pitch, everybody was clapping their hands, shouting their name. Right now, in all the service, in all the media, for example, they want him to leave. He was left back yesterday in Madrid, you have to remember that. With all the absences Solari had, Isco stayed in Madrid because he's being sanctioned by the club for misbehavior. And I wanted to say as well, Kate, that when watching Solari yesterday in in Valladolid, one could feel that he that was his last game. That was like a farewell. He was saying goodbye to every single player, saying goodbye to every single member of the staff. And we have been told that he has gone to Balde to say goodbye as a last chance. But the thing is that Real Madrid would like to keep Solari in the club. They still don't know why. Probably we'll find out in that official statement in more or less three or four hours.
Wow, and what a strong dressing room Zinedine Zidane will still have to contend with. Of course, Sergio Ramos always key in these kind of conversations. Who, Jamie, do you think might be top of his shopping list if he can pick? Well, Zinedine Zidane would love to sign, for example, Hazard. That's one of the names that he wants for Real Madrid. The problem is, as we know, the transfer ban for Chelsea. It seems like FIFA won't let them one more window. We'll still have to wait to see what happens, but no decision will be made until June. And we'll see what players can arrive to Real Madrid. Another name that is appearing again, because we have been explaining this throughout the last years, I think, is Neymar. They see Real Madrid, that the Brazilian could join them this season because he couldn't play with PSG again. He was knocked out from the Champions League and who knows if the dream of Florentino Perez, which has always been Neymar, can arrive this summer. But they are talking about 350 million euros. So we'll see what happens. It will be an intense summer in Madrid. I can guarantee you that. Jane Easton in Spain first with that breaking news.